Hello guys, this is Lithy Art Studio with a video on how to make an Umbreon and Chibi Girl. In this speed drawing tutorial we will be focusing on my main drawing steps and I will show you how I created my version of a Chibi Girl wearing Umbreon pajamas. In the beginning we draw three circles of the same size. The top one will be the head of our character, the middle will be the body and the bottom will be the legs. After that we draw the hands of the chibi, starting from the shoulders. Let's form the head and the first leading lines for it. Now that the body posture of our drawing is ready, it's time to add clothes. This time the clothes cover the whole body, so there's no need to draw the detailed version of it. Our chibi's tiny hands and fingers will have this state so that the drawing is playful. We finish the clothing session by adding the sleeves of the onesie. Moving on with the head, we need to start from the eyes position. Since the head is turned to the right, our hood will be on the left. Of course this clothing design refers to a really cozy and warm pajama that is good as well. So an umbron has big long ears, which we are adding now. Remember to keep the same size for both of them. Also an umbron has the same styled tail. Imagine that you started from the middle of the body and sketch it away from it. It's time to add some details of the Pokemon we chose, so that the ones it refers to an Umbreon. We add stripes at the ears and the tail, and circles at the legs and hands. Leaving the head for the last, our chibi eyes will have strong top eye line and will wink to support the playful mood of the hand and body posture. And of course the chibi will smile. This time I tried to do a hairstyle similar to the ones I saw in the anime. This led to bulky bangs and tufts hanging here and there. I like braids a lot, so I added two of them to my chibi hairstyle.
To add yours, simply start the basic line that the braid will follow and add small curves along the line. At the end of it, add a rubber band and a hair tail. Let's intensify our lines a little bit and add some details. Tiny fingers, pajamas, cloth bendings and the circles of the umbron. Our bangs need more detailed lines too. Hair parts and hairline for a start. The shape of the braids needs to be clearer as well. Our chibi will have a strong top eye line and for the actual eye we add the light sparkles and the pupil in the center. Last step in this drawing procedure is the marking of lines. Ink lines are stronger than pencil ones, so you have to be careful when using a marker. Draw slowly and give yourself some time when drawing.
With a smaller marker, we add cloth details such as stitches and we proceed to the cleaning step. With a hard eraser, we try to clean any mistake. I hope you liked my video and tips. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you have any piece of advice that may help this process of drawing or if you have any ideas on future drawings, leave your comments below. Thank you for drawing with me and I'll see you soon with the next video. Bye guys!